Layers are the most important organizational feature in Gravit. Built-in is the ability to stack objects in preferential order by dragging up and down the Layers panel. Objects have the ability to be grouped, which allows groups to be stacked the same way as single objects. When a design becomes visually complex, unnecessary objects can be hidden from view, including entire groups. To begin, the Layers panel is shown by selecting the Layers button on the top right of the designer. If you're in a file that you've already begun work, you should straight away see different assortments of layers. Specific layer types of different icons. Examples shown here are paths, shapes, text, and images. You can hover a layer at any time to see the outline of the particular layer on the canvas. Layers can be reordered using one of two methodologies. The first is to simply select and drag objects to its new location. The other is to select the layer and either select the forward or backward options in the toolbar. You can also use the shortcuts Command or Control and then Up or Down, which will step the layers up or down one layer at a time. As stated above, to simplify complex designs, layers can be hidden from the design view to allow the designer to focus on the current area. As well as this, layers can be unlocked, partially locked, or completely locked. The difference between partially locked and completely locked is that while partially locked, the design can still be selected and have its color properties changed. Once locked, nothing can be changed for the layer at all. To delete a layer, simply select the layer and select the trash can in the Layers panel. Through the Layers panel, objects can also be dragged into other designs, allowing them to be grouped. For example, if I drag the background into the logo's background, it will clip the background image to the object's shape and group these items together. Next, I'm going to create a layer folder for the logo. This is done at the top of the Layers panel, and it can be renamed by double-clicking the folder. Once I have done this, I will select both the logo objects and drag them into the folder. Layer folders have the same options in regards to locking and hiding single layers. The added addition of folders is the ability to change the view settings of the entire folder to just the outline of the objects using the filled circle, and also changing the color of the outline from here. We at Gravit hope you have found this tutorial useful and hope you tune in to the next edition.